On this sunny beach in Costa Rica, Luis sells ice cream nonstop. His freezer runs continuously, but thanks to these solar panels, he has replaced his old generator and doesn't use any fuel. We wanted to reduce the noise and pollution from the generator, so we came up with the idea of using solar panels to work thanks to the sun because there is a lot here and it works really well. It's perfect. This type of local initiative is not uncommon in Costa Rica, which is aiming to generate 100 percent renewable energy, and it's well on its way. Thanks to its rivers, wind, sun, and volcanic heat, this tropical nation expects renewables to make up 97 percent of its electricity production in 2015. One of the latest sustainable development projects is this hydroelectric power station, the biggest in Central America. La clave del éxito para que Costa Rica continúe Energy storage will be key for Costa Rica to be able to incorporate renewables even more, say, from solar panels and windmills. For now, the best option is by far hydroelectric reservoirs. But while Costa Rican energy is becoming more and more clean, the air is not. Because of dilapidated cars, buses, and traffic jams, Pollution from transportation causes more than half of the country's CO2 emissions. To address the issue, one lawmaker recently presented a bill to encourage ownership of zero-emission vehicles. The goal is to reduce or remove the taxes so people can buy electric vehicles. There is also the possibility for the public banking system to offer credits to encourage people to buy these cars and other non-financial incentives. Costa Rica got the world's attention at the beginning of the year by using 100 percent renewable electricity for 75 days. And with people like Luis and his ice cream truck gathering their own energy, the nation is on a fast track to a greener future.